hi traders here's a new video first of all the risk warning your invested capital might be at risk don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose and this video is not investment advice so this video is another reading chart how to read uh, candlestick charts uh, understanding candlestick charts analyze candlestick charts yes and uh, those videos will be done always on weekend when assets are closed when the market is closed and I'm a European trader so I'm not able to do trades on weekend because uh, we European traders do not have the uh, OTC market and so I'm doing this kind of uh, yes explanation videos of those trades which I have done um, a few um, not so long time ago uh, based on support and resistance yes and to explain those kind of trades more in detail showing you the hints yes uh, showing you the traps and uh, those kind of things uh, why I took those trades what you should avoid and all those kind of uh, concepts which I have explained in my ebook so get this ebook it's for free you'll find the link in the description this ebook contains the most important candlestick pattern chart pattern and binary option turbo trading concepts market condition trend identification rejection and candlestick mass and a lot of more concepts which can be applied to any kind of time frame any kind of financial instrument and any kind of broker so get this ebook it's for free you'll find the link in the description and in the description you will find also the link to the Facebook group so um, yes let's start immediately so I have prepared this kind of video you see here we have here uh, some kind of ranging market you see a lot of flat Bollinger bands here yes you see this flat Bollinger band this flat Bollinger band yes and also the market is almost flat we have a small uptrend yes and now we got here a reversal yes and uh, but in overall we have here a ranging market and you'll see here this are all kind of support and resistance level uh, almost this one is also a strong one you see here the change of the polarity and you see how I'm choosing this kind of flat areas here flat Bollinger Band as support and resistance yes and uh, those one levels are showing you we have here almost a ranging market not a trendy one yes and also uh, yes and a li little small uptrend and to see here also what is the characteristic for this trend uh, ranging market this crosses here from the 20 EMA with the middle Bollinger Band crossing of the mm, M uh, EMA and the 20 EMA and the 20 SMA yes and the, the reason for this ranging market is this 100 EMA which is almost flat so that is the market condition uh, we have here an engulfing candle light yes engulfing candle after this we get here this kind of hammer bearish hammer maybe so let's see what's happening and as soon as there will be a trade I will stop this and uh, uh, explain what I have done here. So this candle, this hammer crossed this support and resistance level, yes, which I have drawn, which showing me that now this area will act as resistance, not anymore as support, this one here, but I'm waiting because I was not sure and was waiting for a better entry point above the closing price of the previous candle. That should be almost your, I have explained this in one of the videos, deep explanation videos, where you should enter in to such kind of trades and that was as close as possible to the support and resistance level yes and uh, better than also better than close to this support and resistance level also above if you have a downtrend above the support and resistance level yes and if you have a downtrend um, below this uh, you know if you have an uptrend um, below the support and resistance level and if, if you have a downtrend above the support and resistance level if you will do this right so now we got here this kind of um, fake breakout yes this is a fake breakout of the support and resistance level that is how fake breakouts look like the 20 EMA is pushing up the 20 SMA and the 20 EMA are getting wider that means that the uptrend will uh, be establishing yes and that was also a hint that price will reverse from from this one deviation that is a one deviation pullback yes with a combination of a fake breakout of an evening doji star which I have explained also in my fake breakout explanation deep explanation video in detail how those kind of fake breakouts look like and the evening doji star was one of them there are some more variations you see here also here we have a morning doji star as um, as fake breakout yes 
of the 50 EMA and that here is nothing else on the one deviation uh, Bollinger Band. So that is looking good. This candle closed exactly on the support and resistance level. If you are drawing here a line, you see here we have support, here we got, uh, sorry, here we have resistance, here we got support, here we got again resistance, yes, and that was a clear sign that this candlestick here will reverse from this level, yes, and going down. I don't know why I didn't enter here at the moment, yes, I should have entered already. I don't know what I was waiting for. Okay, I wait, I was not sure what's happening, yes. So I waited uh, because maybe the, uh, the per case time passed by. I was not sure and then I didn't enter. But for me, it would be a clear call, a clear put. Uh, because I understood already that we are getting here into a reversal. So now this looks uh, like a nice double top, yes. This candle is closing uh, as an engulfing candle, bearish engulfing candle, yes. And that is a nice put uh, <coughs> because price will most probably continue to going down, yes, because we have here almost a ranging market in such kind of market uh, um, yes, it's almost clear that we get here such kind of huge candles and I'm expecting also here a nice huge candle because uh, in this kind of ranging market you get such kind of candles and this one here looks like a really nice one because this bearish engulfing candle in combination with a hanging man after this small uptrend, yes, and this kind of engulfing candle which is showing a downtrend should end up in this kind of huge candle and that is a clear a trade what would you could do also for FX option yes and choosing the, um, the profit target close to the one deviation Bollinger Band yes that is what you should uh, take as target on FX options if you are using FX options yes but I would not uh, recommend at the moment because they are a little bit buggy at the moment from some reports which I got. So okay, that was already everything. Yes, I have explained you those kind of trades. If you like this video, do a like. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And if you have something to say, drop me a line in the comment section. Watch the video about double top, yes, to understand the behavior here. Yes, and there I have explained also how you can distinguish a nice double top from a not so nice double top. And also what when you have to trade those kind of trade candlesticks, yes, if they didn't have broken, still not broken, the neckline. But those, those kind of uh, um, yes, uh, tr uh, trades against the neckline of this double top or double bottom should only done if you have here some kind of candle which is showing you selling pressure, yes, and which are getting in confluence with the upcoming trend. Yes, means if you have here an engulfing candle, then you get a double top and then you get another engulfing candle. That is a confluence, that is a continuation we have here a breakout because we got here this this pullback from the one deviation I would expect that after this uh, morning star doji morning doji star it would continue to going up it didn't has done this that is then again the process of the um, elimination the method of elimination because this candle didn't unfold like this would expect. Yes, this uh, morning star. I understood that we are going to continue down. And that was the reason why I entered into a put. And also the flat 100 EMA was a clear sign that price will range around it. Yes, and maybe also here it would get here a reverse, a retracement. And after this retracement, most probably we would continue to going down. Okay, so that was already. If you like this video, do a like. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And if you have something to say, drop me a line in the comment section. So I would say stay safe and bye bye.